we are going to see operators in python programming so in python programming we have the concept called as operators now basically in every programming language you, re you require this operators what is this operators operators are the construct which can manipulate the value of operands like if you are taking an expression like 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 so here in this case 4 5 are called as operands whereas the plus sign which is using for an operation is called as operators so plus minus division multiplication all the signs which we are using for a operation purpose it is called as a operators there are different types of operators in python programming the first is arithmetic operators then we have comparison operators comparison operators is also called as relational operators then we have assignment operator then we have logical operator membership operator and identity operator so one by one we are going to see all these operators the first one is the arithmetic operator okay the first is arithmetic operator Now in this arithmetic operator, you will see this flow chart, uh, like this chart. In the, there are three columns. The first is operators, description and example. In the arithmetic operator, we have plus operator, which is used for addition, minus operator for subtraction, star operator for multiplication, slash operator for division, percent operator for modulus. Then we have exponent and floor division now what all these operators are we already know if i want to add the two numbers i have the operator a plus b if i want to subtract it i have operator a minus b for multiplication a into b so these are the arithmetic operators which we know now this percent operator stands for modulus operator what does mod get us it gives the reminder Okay, if we are dividing something, whatever the reminder will be, this is the output of modulus operator. Then we have a double star that is an exponent operator. If you want to find out the power of something, then we are going to use this exponent operator. In the last we have is floor division. Now see for the floor division, we are using double slash backslash. So what is this? So if I'm getting a value like 4.7 it will give me an answer as 5 okay it will end up to a decimal point uh, like it will remove the decimal point and it will end up to the rounded figure so this is how what the floor division is so these are the arithmetic operators then next we have is comparison operator or you can say relational operator now if i have a value a and if i have a value b and i want to check whether my value a is equal to value b then i will be using double equal to so if we want to check the values are equal or not we will be using double equal to in my condition that is one of the operator then the next operator you will see in this ppt is not equal to for that we are using the explanatory mark and equal to sign not equal to okay then if i want to check the condition to find out whether this is similar or that is similar then we are you going to use this greater than and less than symbols then this greater than symbol less than symbol less than is, is equal to greater than equal to all these are the comparison operators or relational operators the third one is the assignment operator now in the assignment operator if i want to assign the value for something like suppose i am using a is equal to 5 that means i have assigned a value 5 to a okay so 
if i'm using a equal to 5 that means i have assigned some value to a variable so this e single equal to stands for an assignment op operator and double equal to stands for a comparison operator if you are checking the values are equal or not then we compulsory use double equal to and if we want to assign the value then we are going to use the single equal to okay then after that we have this multiple uh, assignment operators like we have plus is equal to now what is this plus is equal to now observe the carefully see the in the last column it is written c plus is equal to a that means c is equal to c plus a we are just avoiding one c and we are writing c plus is equal to a this means c is equal to c plus a similarly if it is c minus is equal to a then it will be c is equal to c minus a if it is c into is equal to a that means it is c is equal to c into a so this is one of the way to write it by using the assignment operator just remember single is equal to we are using for an assigning purpose we are assigning something to some value like some value to some variable and if it is double is equal to then we are comparing it okay so this is all what an assignment operator is then next we have is logical operators now this is very important in the python programming logical operator in the logical operator we have and or and not there are three operators and or and not and or not now let's see what is this and or not suppose if i want to test the two conditions like a is greater than b and a is greater than c so the and we are using that is a logical and let me show you with an example now see this is the example of logical operator and so here i have taken a equal to 10 b is equal to 12 and c equal to 0 the condition I have written is if A is greater than B and A greater than C. Now you will observe that here I have used A and in between. Okay. In the conditions I have written and in between. This means I have used a logical operator. So if you want to test any multiple conditions, you can simply use this logical operator. And now the next is or similarly as we have seen the and operator if you want to take the two conditions now or operator either one condition if a is greater than zero or b is greater than zero okay we are taking any one condition so in that case we are going to use the or operator in between so you can observe this example so here it is written if a is greater than 0 or b is greater than 0 we are going to print either of the number is greater than 0. So in any conditions if you are using or in between that is a logical operator. So or is one of the logical operator like and you can use the two conditions simultaneously if it is and and if it is or then either one condition either that or this okay or this is one of the logical operator then the next we have is not operator now see not operator here a value of a is taken as 10 okay now a is taken as 10 so i have written if not a print value value of a is true if not a means the value of a is i mean the value which is will be given is not equal to 10. now again see the second uh, if conditions this one if not a mod 3 equal to 0 or a mod 5 equal to 0 means we are not getting that answer then only print 10 is not divisible by 3 or 5. if it is divisible by 3 we will get the answer 0. if it is divisible by 5 we will get the answer 0 right 
means the value of a here which is given if that is divisible by 3 we will get the answer 0 if that is not uh, divisible by 3 we will not get the answer 0 so in any case like 3 or 5 if it is getting 0 then we are not going to print it we are just going to print 10 is divisible by either 3 or 5 but if not divisible then obviously the first print statement will get executed okay if not that then print this this is what actually it is so not is one of the logical operator so these are the three operators and or and not which is called as a logical operator now next is membership operator so membership operators are the two operators in and not in in we are going to use if the character is existing in that given string and not in means if that is not existing in that given string so with the example is now see this in operator example we have taken one value of s as food okay then i have written s in and the other sentence i have printed this means s is there in that sentence if that is there in that sentence it will return true now the value of s is food and food is there in that sentence right see that's food for thought that is the sentence and the food food keyword is present in that so it will return the value true similarly the another operator we have is not in operator not in means what now see the value of s is food okay then it is written that s not in then the sentence is given and it is true now s is not there in that sentence if it it is there in that sentence it would have written false uh, like it would have written true if you are using an in operator now s is not in that sentence so it is returning true like yes really s is not in that sentence so it is giving me true because the value food is not in that sentence right so these are the two membership operator that is in and not in then the next we have is identity operator so identity operator there are two identity operators the first is is and another is is not so let's see what is this identity operators now if there are suppose two values and that two values are equal to each other so i will write a is b which will return a value true because a and b are equal now if that two values are not equal i will write a is not b okay that will print me true so we are just comparing whether they are identical or not let's see with example now see here a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 and c is equal to a so i have printed here a is not b so yes a is not b because the value of a is different and the value of b is different so it is giving me an answer true similarly i am writing a is b uh, sorry a is c so if you observe that we have written a is equal to 10 and c is equal to a that means the value of c is now 10 so a is c yes right a is c so it is giving me a true if they are equal then we are going to use the keyword is a is c if it is equal it will print true else it will print false and a is not b means we are saying that a is not b they both are not identical so if they are not identical we are going to get an output true if they are identical we are going to get an output false okay so these are the two operators is and is not so this is all about the operators in Python programming. We have seen the arithmetic operators, comparison operators, also called as relational operators, then assignment operators, 
logical operators and or not membership operator in and in not in an identity operator is and is not okay so these are the identity uh, operators as well as the uh, membership operator and the logical operator the three operators are very important in this python programming logical operator that is and or not then membership operator in and not in identity operator is and is not okay these are the operators in the python programming